Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're going to be installing a storm door. Uh, we're in direct sunlight, so I'll be squinting. And no, your resolution is does not need to be adjusted. I am wearing braids. Uh, my little girl put them in last night, and as an amazing father, I like to encourage an aspiring hairdresser if she chooses to go that route. So, on another note, let's get to the door. First, what we're going to do is decide which way we want our door to swing. Storm doors swing out. And we usually want the handle on the same side as the entry door. So first we're going to check our uh, hinge side of our track and make sure it fits in there and we don't have to cut it. This is much easier to do before you put it on the door. We're going to fit it in there like so. Our door is going to swing out this way and it fits in nice so we're good to go. First we're going to take our top track and we're going to install it, tack it up there, drive fit it, and then secure it. Looking good. We're just going to put a couple screws in it because I mean, we may want to adjust it later. Next we're going to take our hinge side track, fit it on the door, make sure we got it open in the right way. This is the outside of the door. The inside of the door has little pull tabs on the window so you can open it from the inside. So you want to make sure that is facing in. And that's wrong. All right, we're gonna fit the track on there like the door is closed. Weather stripping is gonna go on the inside. And then our hinge is secure. So we know our door is gonna go on like that. Definitely double check this several times before you go ahead and put screws in it. Now you wanna install, eh, crap. Now you wanna install the hinge track so it runs past the top of the door about an eighth of an inch per the directions. But men don't like to read the directions. We like to try to figure it out ourselves, and then when something goes wrong, that's when we consult the directions. On this particular style of door, we've got one of the frame screws that came factory installed right that lines up with one of our hinges. So we're gonna pull that screw out, and that way we know our track is right on the right spot on the door. So we're gonna pull this screw out. We can see our track lines right up with that hole where the screw we removed and we get our eighth of an inch at the top of the door. So we're gonna go ahead and put screw in that. Now that we know our track is in the right place, we can go ahead and secure the rest of the hinges. Now that we know our track is secured, we're ready to hang the door. All right, hanging a storm door by yourself is not as hard as it seems. You need your trusty screw gun and a screw and some creative lifting. All right, so we're gonna have screw gun ready, put a screw on it, we're going to use the white one since you're going to be able to see these screws. Put it under your foot, hinge side all the way to the top. And voila, the door will stay in place until you go get more screws. Again, we're only going to put a few screws in it because we may want to adjust it later. Next, we take our strike side, fit that in, see about how our door is going to close. Now you want to leave about a quarter inch gap so the door can swing freely. That's looking nice. Leaving your quarter inch gap. All right, our quarter inch gap is looking good. Our top is looking level. We could go ahead and screw off the door. Next, we take our silver screws and screw off the inside of the hinge side track. Shut nice, now we're ready to put on the handle. All right, now that we got our door hung and secured, we're gonna use our guide here that came with our handle, and we're going to drill some holes for the handle. We're gonna hang it at approximately the same height as your entry door. That fits on like so, and then we're gonna drill some pilot holes. Now that the pilot holes are there, it says we need a 5 16 bit. Drill through the door. All right, handle, thumb button, post in the hole, spring. Now we're gonna line up our catch on the inside. Now this door frame sits a little farther back, so we're gonna use these spacers that come with the handle to build it out a little bit so the strike engages the handle. Now that we got our handle on, 
We're ready for the storm door closer. This is the part that gives most people trouble. We take our storm door bracket, screw it to the jam. It's printed on here, door, which way it goes, not a way to put it on backwards. You're gonna point that towards your new storm door and it says put it a quarter inch from the track. We'll tack it in with little screws until we're sure that it's in the right position. Then we'll secure it with the longer screws. Door closer, our stop, Small pin. Put the small pin in. Now here's where it gets tricky. Position the mount on the door. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the door closer to give it a little tension. Slide our stop over. Now we've got tension on our door closer. This will ensure that it pulls it tight. Place the mount. Mark it. Large pin goes in the bracket. Secure the screws. All right, let's give the closer the test run. Latching good. Now that we got it closing and latching well, we're gonna take our sweep, put it on the bottom. Door fits right in the track. Screw holes go to the inside. We got our sweep on, put it all the way to the top, and when with the door shut, we're gonna push the sweep down, make sure it contacts the threshold. We're gonna go ahead and secure it. All right, so we got our door in, it's looking good, it's shutting nice, it's sealed, it's gonna keep some of the weather out. Only positive comments about the braids, please. You wouldn't wanna discourage a little girl. She will be asking me about them. So for Home Mender Inc., this is Dustin, and enjoy your new storm door. Thanks for watching.